I got a tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and uh, build the form and allow the users to make comments on the front end. Uh, this is going to be kind of lengthy, so uh, hang in there. Uh, I'm going to try to get through it without uh, falling asleep over here. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is create a forms file. So go to your blog app and create a new file. And we're going to save that file as forms.py. I gotta be on my text editor, forms.py. So, forms.py. Okay, save that file. All right, and in this file, we need to import um, a mo uh, package from Django, which is helps us work with forms called forms. So, from Django, import forms. There we go. All right, next thing we need to do is we got to be able to save our form somewhere, so we got to have access to the comments. So from dot models import comment. I believe that's what we called it. If we didn't, we'll get an error. Anyhow, let's go. Um, now we're going to create a class, so it's going to be a subclass of the form. So comment comment form, and then it's forms dot model form. So there we go, a colon, not a semicolon. All right, so now we're going to add a meta. And what meta does is it gives us options um, for, for, our, for our subclass. So we'll do a class, capital M, meta. And in here, we want to hook our um, model to our comment model. So we'll do model, and we'll assign that to comment. And now we want to pick what fields are going to be displayed in our form. So we'll do uh, fields. And in the tuple, we're going to do user, uh, email, and body. All right. So save that. And hold on one second. All right. Um, then uh, the next thing we want to do, um, we're going to create a link in our post detail because I want the user to have to go to a different page to post a comment. And the reason I'm doing this is down the line we want to be able, we want our users to sign in. That's why we kind of validate if the comment is a, a valid comment. Uh, otherwise, you'll have people posting crap all over your uh, site. So we kind of want them to sign in to do that. So let's go ahead and create a link, and we'll do that in the postdetail.html file, and we'll do a a link. If I can type today, anyhow, there we go. And then in here, well, right here, we'll leave, put leave a comment. All right. And in here, we want to put a URL. Where do we want them to go? So we haven't seen the URL like this yet, which is a URL tag. What we looked at beforehand was, um, let's see here, a uh, list of posts. We got post absolute URL. All right, that's the links that we used before, but this is another way to write a link. So URL. And then what we want to do is tell Django where to find this URL. And how we're going to do that is first we'll put this in a string. And then we're going to say blog. So in the blog app. All right, so how do you find that? So go in the blog app, go to URLs, because it's URL. It knows to look in your URLs. And then we're going to name our URL, which is add comment. We haven't created this one yet, but it's going to be add comment. And we'll save that. Um, actually, we need to add one more argument um, we need to add slug because we need to decipher where this comments gonna go to which form we want to use so we'll just do a slug is equal to post dot slug just like that so our post and then our slug is equal to our slug all right <clears throat> um, so that's how we're gonna set up the URL so with that being said let's go ahead and um, go to our Actually, let's go ahead and test this. So blog, what I'm going to do with this tutorial is kind of work through um, the process of building something and Django is going to kick back debug messages to us and that's how we're going to build it. It's kind of like a, 
a test, but it's not the proper way to test Django. Uh, we'll look at that down the road, but um, where we you write your own code to test your, your apps. But for now, we're going to use debug and kind of work through a process. So I'm going to click on the second post, doesn't matter which post I clicked on, and see if we get an error message. And we do. Uh, no reverse match at blog second post. Reverse for add comment with arguments, uh, keyword arguments, slug post. Well, looking at this, there's just basically what's saying there's no URL uh, for our um, link that we put in to our post at the uh, de our post underscore detail. So what we need to do is add URL. Man, I'm dragging today. So let's go ahead and add a URL. So we'll do your um, lowercase URL. All right. Um, and then we'll do raw string and our string carrot. And then close out a string for a second. And then we'll do uh, our view. So views dot add comment and then comma and then our name. Uh, so add comment. All right, so we did 66% of our URL so far. Now we have to set up the actual URL. Um, so basically what it's going to be is going to be same as this. So we'll copy that, put it inside the quotes. Um, the only difference I'm going to change here is because we're using slug again to decipher what page um, or what uh, post we're using. So... Uh, to decipher the difference between the actual posts and the comment form uh, HTML, we're going to use, uh, we're going to put comment down here. All right. So it's going to be the same thing. Uh, if we go to the slug, we're going to read the post. And if we click on that link, it's going to take us to um, our slug and then uh, backslash comment backslash. So basically it says, hey, this is the comment portion. So we'll go ahead and save that. Let's go back and open up our browser again, hit return, wait for the up. Ah. Well, we're not going to get an error this time in with our debug in our browser. And the reason being is it's saying attribute error blog.views has no attribute add comment. So what's blog.views? Well, if you go back in your text editor, if you go blog views.py, there's no add comment in here, all right? Um, so we'll go ahead and add comment view. Uh, if I can spell, Jesus Christ. Request and then slug are gonna be our two uh, arguments just like up here. And just like this post, we need to get the object to order 404. So we'll add the same thing we have up there, posts. You will get object 404, capital post, for post model, and then slug is equal to slug. So the slug has to match. All right, and then down here we're going to do... Um, all right, so if request dot method, and now this has to do with our actual HTML form, if you're familiar with forms, there's a method in there, it's post or get or something like that. Ours is going to be post, so if it matches, it's going to do something. So post, and then our colon at the end of our is statement. And what are we going to do? We're going to get a form, then comment form, and then request post all right so this has to do with the um forms.py import forms that all has to do with that so what it's doing is hooking in and getting request posts setting up the form ready to take some data now we're going to do if form dot is valid which is how django's forms check to make sure the data is valid if it is valid then do something and we're going to do comment equal form dot save but don't commit it so commit is equal to false and then we're going to do uh, comment dot post is equal to post 
and now we're going to save it. We're going to do comment dot save. So we'll save it now. Now after the user posts the comment, we want to do something with that with the user in general. So we're going to do return redirect because we want to redirect the user. We don't want them just staying on that page, staring at their own at their own comment. And we're going to redirect them back to the blog post. So that was blog dot post detail, I believe we called it. Oh, spell detail, right? I don't know if I still spell that right. We'll see if we get an error. And that'd be slug because we gotta decipher what post we're going back to. Post dot slug like that. All right. So what else do we need? We need an else statement because if it's not request method, we need to say else. And we're going to say forms equal to commit comment form like that. So we want, if it's not request method, so if they haven't already started filling it out and submitting it, then we want to show the form. And then uh, we need a template. So we'll set that equal to blog post add comment dot HTML. We'll create that in a second. And then context for form. So dictionary form and then our variable. And then we return render request uh, template and context. All right. So that should do it for us here. All right, so, all right, what have we done? I have a phone call. Um, anyhow, let's go ahead and refresh this and see what happens, see if it worked. All right, so there we go. We got uh, our post. Now we can see our post because beforehand we are saying there was no view. Now we can see our post. Let's go ahead and leave a comment. <clears throat> uh, namer. Um, name comment form is not defined. Okay. Oh, we got to import the comment form. So from dot forms import comment form. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back and refresh. 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 Uh, template does not exist. Okay, that's great. You get template. That's a good start, right? We're making our way through here. So where do we post this? Post. So we'll go down here, create a new file. And we'll save this as add comment.html. So add underscore comment html so we want to extend base so we'll do uh, extend and in here we'll do blog backslash base dot html and then same thing as we've done before it's going to be a block content so whoops block content and then we end block and block okay cool now we can throw in some crap in here um, first thing we want to do is give it a title this is where you guys see my web design skills coming to effect add new comment and below that um, we're going to say, oh, we're going to add our form. Form method is equal to, and here's that post, oops, post that we used in our views. If post, if post, then um, we had to, um, yeah. If post, then we're going to create the form or submit the form, I should say. And then we're going to add something here called, Cross site 
register forgery, I believe it's called. Uh, hold on, actually, let's look that up real quick. CSF, what's that proper name for this? CSRF token. Cross site something, not registry. Uh, cross site request forgery protection. So it's basically what this is, is uh, Django's way of checking to make sure it's not being hacked, I guess you would say. Um, anyhow, if you want to read up on that, go for it. Form.asp. Um, what this does is each field is going to be entered as a paragraph. So form.asp, each field is going to be kind of written like this. If we had uh, p tags and then in here we have an input, all right, and then our p tags and the same thing, all right, for the next one. So that's what that does. And then we need a button to submit it. So button, and then we'll say type. It's going to be submit, and we'll say submit, and then button, and then close out a form, just like that. All right. <clears throat> so that's our form. So let's go back and refresh this guy. Come on, so uh, extend, extends the uh, typo. All right, back. All right, here's our form. So let's create a user, Bob, and his email is going to be bob at gmail.com. And this is an awful site. Well, thank you, Bob. Go ahead and submit that. Uh, name redirect is not defined. Okay, back into our text editor go to views because that's where we use redirect back to the top import redirect and I am on a roll today forgetting to do things okay back here hit the back button let's post that comment again from Bob Bob's a gentleman all right Bob submit boom this is an awful site well, thank you, Bob. Why did that post twice? Let's uh, leave one more comment to make sure it's not posting twice every time. So we'll say uh, Joe, Joe at Gmail. This is cool. Submit. Oh, enter a valid email address. Uh, I did that on purpose to show you guys the email validation. Um, in our models, we put email field, so it validates. I don't know if I, yeah, there we go. Uh, email, email field, so it validates because I didn't put a period dot com down here. Dot com, there we go. So we'll submit that again. And we'll see if Joe is posting two comments. No, Joe's only posting one. So that, that Bob comment came back uh, twice because I hit the backspace. So, I believe that's pretty much it. Now the users can add comments to our site. Uh, next tutorial, we'll probably start working on uh, the admin section. Or we'll actually add some CSS to the site to make it look better. I'm not sure yet, but I'll see you guys then. Have a nice day.